the anatomy of a decode. Well, if if you do a decode properly, if, if you're properly exposing Mystery Babylon, I believe it's Ephesians 5.11, have nothing to do with their world, but expose it. Do expose it. And it was through learning about their world that got me out of the fake world religion located in the city-state in the heart of Rome that I had belonged to for all my whole life up until I was 50 or 51. And so it, it was through the seeing the world around us exposed that I jumped into a fake Protestant religion of free will and water baptisms until 2017. But that's when it began learning about the world around us and having me come out of the world and so forth slowly beginning in 2012 but really jumped 2017 2018 into 2019 and by 2020 when they when mystery babylon flexed on the earth um then i really flipped the switch and just started sort of declaring war on mystery babylon as a whole and uh, sort of turn my social media into more of a blog. But that's okay. Because <laughs> I was just trying to mesh with the rest of the world and just be as normal as I could be. And uh, that lasted about a year. So anyway. The anatomy of a decode. So Angel White came out with a video. Now, Angel White, the rider on the white horse, fallen angel Satan, Antichrist, of course, 380 views, 38 for murder code. Well, Angel White is the AI channel that came on and lambasted me once, but they're always exposing Trump as the Antichrist. And this is the AI YouTube channel that taught me that Trump was the Antichrist, along with this guy named Daniel Alexander Cannon did a video also. And this is, I use both their videos, which neither one of their videos are up anymore, but Angel White has has the one video called Donald Trump, the Antichrist is Born, chopped up in about five, six different videos. But if you key up like, uh, if you just Trump Antichrist, for instance, search at angel whites you're just going to get a myriad okay and um donald trump the gym you know jim and i forget the name of it but anyway of course odyssey invite for money and all that kind of stuff but this is an ai site where nobody ever speaks but they just show constant videos Along with, I'll give you another one. It's like I've been unsubscribed, so I just resubscribed. I haven't watched a video of Shaking My Head Productions in a million years, and I was like, I wonder why. They just, I just got removed. This is another AI site. And these AI sites just somehow can pull any music clip without copyright strikes. Movie clips, music clips, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And they're going to tell you the truth in plain sight. And then they're also going to tell you a bunch of lies. They're going to mix lies with truth. It's called the bait and switch. They lure you in with the truth. And then they'll flip. The storm has arrived. We were warned. So I need to, I need to get caught up with Shaking My Head Productions, don't I? That's another AI site. And then there's yet another one. Is a good one. So, what makes this film good? There's a few Angel White videos, and I'll I'll put these down in the description. And um, it's not allowing me to stop it. You'll see that. So I'm going to end up with a copyright strike. Hmm. Maybe not. But so it's American Gemini. Uh. The Rise of the Antichrist, 
how Trump became the fake messiah, and so on and so forth. The Antichrist, Donald Trump, everything in its right place. It's an AI site, and it's the bad guys, but they're giving you the truth in plain sight. Well, they just came up with one today, and they haven't done a video in a very long time. Or it hasn't done a video in a very long time with any meaning. And this one really isn't any meaning. And um, But they, they put one out today. And it's, it's got the song, I Remember. And we're going to get into that. And it's giving you 1 Corinthians 15. Anatomy of a decode, right? Now, first of all, they're pumping that music. But second of all, the time of the video is 144 for the church. Because that's the Antichrist's job, isn't it? To cleanse the church. But it's 1 Corinthians 15. Now, right off the bat, you want to decode that as either November 5th, because it's a 1, a 1, and a 5. Or it's January 15th, a 1 and a 15. Either way, you then rise on 11-7 which is the Bible verse of the Antichrist rising from the pit. And it's a spiritual rising as the abyss is opened. And that's the decode along with, hang on just a second, because you'll love this. The song they're pumping all throughout this Bible verse is by Cascade and dead man oh but it's not or dead man five but wait it's not dead man the u is an upside down n isn't it or they flipped the n for dead man and made it dead m-a-u five when really it's dead man and could that mean that you know he goes down on the fifth or november fifth now, he will be in Orlando November 4th. What if the event is there? And he dies the next day or after midnight. So he's officially dead on the 5th and would rise on 11, November 7, 11, 7. Or again, you know, January 15th. That's all around the MLK times and so forth. We're always looking big at that time, but that's the name of the artist. It's two different artists put together, Cascade and this Dead MAU 5, which is really Dead Man 5. It's their Wikipedia site. Y'all see the rabbit? Is that a rabbit or a mouse? That's a mouse, isn't it? So it's pronounced dead mouse. <laughs> Very interesting. Their world is so symbolic. And the AI pretty much writes the script, tells Mystery Babylon what to do and how to do it. So they start. Also, you have received. So he's using the Bible verse, but they're pumping Dead Man Five music. I remember. So what are they really telling you? Well, they want us to think, and it's 144 long. They're wanting us to think that he's going down on November 5th. We're going down November 4th, dying on November 5th, or January 15th with this 115 coding. And that is the anatomy of a decode.
and we've seen this a million times. These are breadcrumbs. And we might miss it. And it happens and we didn't see it. Or one of these days we're going to have seen it. But I'll never know for sure because we're looking at a myriad of dates all the time based off the myriad of breadcrumbs that they give us. My nose is stopped up. Took a big old thing of honey after my workout. Manuka honey. It's good for you. It was sure sweet too, man. It tasted so good, but I clogged up my nose. So I haven't detoxed since last July. We're going on almost a year and a half without any type of cold. Without any sore throat, cold. I really nailed down health and detoxing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But um, I'm due for a detox, which is what a cold or a flu is. A C-O-R-O-N-A-V-I-R-U-S is something you're born with. That was told to us by many doctors in 2020. And through exosomes, your cells dump mucus. They dump toxins. Toxins store in your body, in cells, in muscles, until the body says it's time to dump. And it's usually when you start to get tired and your immune system gets low. And the body says, our, our body won't fight. We can now just dump. In other words, wait till your body gets very weak to where it won't fight the detox process. It's kind of like the bouncers know they need to throw somebody out of the bar, but they wait until the person's almost passed out. And then they can just pick them up by the collars, drag them out, and throw them out instead of having to beat him out. <laughs> Does that make sense? And so and you'd be like, well, how, do, how come it runs through the whole house? Psychosomatic. When you tell yourself you're going to get sick, it just weakens you. If you tell yourself you can't do something, that's it'll weaken you to do it. And when you say, oh, so and so sick, I'm going to get sick. Well, you're going to get sick. It's called psychosomatic. But then, how come, in many cases, how come mama doesn't get sick when the whole rest? Because mama says, I can't get sick. Because this child's sick and this child's sick and my lame husband's sick and everybody's sick. I can't be sick. I have to go to work and I have to take care of my family who's sick. And mom will get sick at another time. psychosomatic and your vitamin d levels get low when you know what they call the flu season is really just your body getting weak through the lack of sunlight we are like plants we need sunlight water and nutrition and you don't get enough sunlight and your vitamin d3 levels start to drop and you start to get weaker and weaker and weaker and your body goes, smish, let's dump toxins. And sometimes it'll heat your body up to higher temperatures, to really heat that mucus, to really liquefy. That's when you're, you're going through a deep cleansing detox. But you have to do it properly with electrolytes, which I failed to do one time, put myself in hospital. Low sodium, I didn't understand. And that was right while I was sick. I went in right around eh, November 25th, 26th, 27th, something like that. Well, December 1st was the first COVID patient detected. If you go back and look at their timeline, how funny that while I was sick with a FLU, their whole... Mystery Babylon's flexing was beginning. So I, I, and I've often wondered, I haven't been sick in so long that 
next time I get sick, is that going to be when it all unravels? Well, you never know. We're waiting any day, aren't we? But yeah, that's the anatomy of a decode. It's just a breadcrumb. But Angel White, the AI site, is having us look at if one one, in your at one one five billions of dollars and it's fascinating the way they expose Trump as a uh, as a uh, as the Antichrist. Don't forget, Trump Tower has five multiple addresses: seven twenty one through seven twenty five Fifth Avenue, which perfectly matches the passage in Daniel seven twenty one through seven twenty five, where the horn is the Antichrist, shall make war with the saints and shall wear out the saints. And Jesus said the Antichrist would be here in his own name, and a trump is a horn, and a horn is a trump. But his name was changed from Drumpf, which is how, through Gematria, you get the 666. S-I-X, S-I-X, S-I-X comes to Donald John Drumpf. Or Don Trump comes to 666. So he is 666 either way. It's fascinating, isn't it? He's not going to die of a heart attack or stroke, folks. I guarantee you that. Or a helicopter crash. Nope. And double nope. All right, love you. I don't know how many channels I'm going to put this on.